lavender, rose petal gelato, white sage and lavender. Let's do this. Hey guys, what day is it? Monday, it's Monday. Um, gosh, I seriously, I don't, does anybody know what day it is? When you're home, do you know what day it is? Because I don't know what day it is. It's only day five or so of being at home and there's still like 10 plus more days to go and I'm just I'm just hanging out so I've got a lot done um, and in today's video I mean if you're looking for like a structured how-to video this is not the video for you guys um, but if you're looking just to hang out chill put something on listen watch somebody else make candles this is the video for you I'm just uh, you know no makeup on got my glasses on today you know big t-shirt I mean I'm always wearing big shirts but you know just like super lounge lounge wear and um, I am going to be making some candles making some florals today we're gonna to be doing some florals and um, if you guys have been following my channel you know that I absolutely hate florals um, I don't like them at all <laughs> so we're going to be opening up this window to make sure that a lot of this floral scent can just drift outside because I don't want it like stain in my house anyways so I froze some candles that I had used uh, when I thought that these were going to be like the final final candles but I was using only one wick with these and now I'm using two wicks so I did remove the wax from those and um, it the only thing about these jars you guys is I do love these matte black jars but the only thing about it is that when you try to do anything to get the wax out whether it's um, like the double boiler method to like heat it up and get the wax out or if you're freezing it there is no reusing and selling these jars I have to keep them as testers because just the quality of them is terrible they have all these weird markings on them and just no way could you sell these as a good quality candle so um, but luckily we can still use them to test because there's still lots more to test so um, we're just gonna get into it so we're gonna do these three scents and see which one I like the best to be in my line I'm gonna put some water in this all right so we're gonna start heating this up I need to get my wax out it's still in a box over there so we're gonna heat this up I've just been turning it all the way up to five because this little this little burner that I got doesn't really run too hot so I'm not worried about having it like boil over or anything there we go now you can see what I'm doing all right so we got some gloves luckily my boyfriend bought these gloves before they were all sold out in the stores oh we also got some shop towels you guys these um, blue shop towels that you get at AutoZone AutoZone? Yeah, that's where we got them. Um, because you can't find paper towels anymore anywhere. So you definitely need paper towels to make candles. After I make each candle, I like to wipe it down on the inside um, just to try to get as much of the fragrance out as possible. When I first started making candles, I would um, rinse them out with hot soapy water in the sink, but I just got really nervous that there would be too much candle wax going down the drain. So I'm not doing that anymore. I just wipe it out. It hasn't contaminated any of my candles. It's fine, especially when you try to do all in the same category. So like today I'm doing all florals. So it's not the end of the world if I was doing that, but if I was trying to do like floral and musky and you know, back and forth with that, then it might contaminate it. But just doing kind of a quick wipe down is, seems to be working out fine. I should pull my hair back. I don't want my hair getting in the wax. I'm gonna measure this out. So I have, what am I gonna do? So I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the three bigger ones. So these are the 13.5 ounce jars, but I fill them up to be 9.5 ounce um, jars of wax. Okay, so each of these will require 245 grams of wax. So I'm gonna tear that off and just start putting the wax in here so when I first started making candles I was a little lazy when it would come to the actual measurements and then I would wonder why it would be off <laughs> So science and math, I mean, you have to be pretty precise. This is like baking, it's not like cooking. So when you're focusing on trying to get the right amount of wax in your jars, you wanna make sure that you're following your recipe because that's what this is really is. So my recipe for these candles 
is 245 grams of wax and 25 grams of fragrance oil. So I'm at 253 right now, so I wanna take out some and slowly add in a little bit more to try to get 245. And again, it's like baking, it's not like cooking. So you wanna be as accurate as you can, at least to me with certain things. With my, with my tarts, I add a little bit more, but with my candles, I like to make it as even as I possibly can. So now it's at 245 grams. I'm gonna put that on there. I bought this from Amazon um, three weeks ago. I haven't used it. Um, it kind of scared me when I was reading the directions because my first initial thought was to play around and point it at my boyfriend. And uh, luckily I read everything before I use it because it said, do not point this directly at people, um, which should be kind of something that an adult would think not to do. Um, but you know, I didn't do it. I just thought it. Um, so I need to get this working. I honestly probably will just ask him for help on how I will do this. I, I don't know why it's kind of intimidating to me. Um, it's not on, I, I don't even think it has batteries in it yet, unless it came with batteries in it. Um, but it's one of those things where I know it will be very beneficial and I can get rid of this clunky thing right here. Here, so once I get this working, I'm sure this will be one of the best things that I can use for my candles. Um, also, I need to get one of those little uh, pouring, oh my gosh, what, Presto Pots. I need to get that. My boyfriend and I were actually going to be making our own of that one because I know you can buy ones that are already pre-made. Sorry, I keep like pointing this at you guys. <laughs> um, I know you can uh, buy ones that are pre-made, like pre-put together, but we wanted to just make our own. And that was right before all of this stuff happened in the world, so. Um, yeah, it can wait. I mean, this is fine for now. This is something I can at least make candles. It's like very little amount at a time. I can probably make about three of these at a time, which is nothing compared to what you can make with like a big Presto pot. So, um, and also I'll be able to set it at a certain temperature and not have to keep looking at it. Um, again, that's something that's kind of changed a little bit from when I first started making candles till now is that I was really, constantly worried about the the temperature that it was at and i know that that's something that a lot of people do still focus on um but for some reason i just i don't focus on it too much i haven't noticed much of a difference with my candles the only thing that i do try to stay in the ballpark of is i bring it up to about 170 to 175 degrees that's about the hottest that it gets um i know that it says to bring it up to about 190 but Sometimes I'm just impatient and I just am like, okay, it's all melted, it's fine. Um, so, and then I'll bring it down and about 160, I'll remove it and then take it out onto the paper towel. I'll pour my fragrance oil and then I'll pour it in here. So that's pretty much the process that I go through when I'm making it. I'm not very super particular about it has to be poured at a certain temp temperature or it has to be um, you know, taken off at a certain temperature. I mean, it's pretty much just ballpark. It doesn't have to be the same every time. Um, however, I think it's just because of the wax that I'm using. So the soy wax that I'm using is not temperamental at all. I've never had any issues. I've never had to really focus on making sure my jars were heated up or anything like that. Um, it's a really, really nice soy wax and I just haven't had any issues. So, um, I think that's why I'm a little bit more lenient when it comes to temperature, because I know that when you're working with other kinds of soy waxes, you have to really be careful with the temperature that you pour at and um, the way that you're doing it. But I seriously can't wait to get that Presto pot. I feel like it's gonna make things so much easier. It's gonna make things so much better and I'll be able to make so many candles way faster. Uh, but it's probably a good idea that I haven't had it since then because I probably would have used up all of my jars and they would have all been wrong. So it's a good thing to take things slow. I wouldn't recommend getting a Presto Pot when you're first starting out with candles. Get a setup like this. It, you'll take it slow, you'll take it slower. It's better for you. Okay, so while this is going, so see this is already at 160. So while that's going, I realized that I need to set up my jar. So typically when I would go to put my wicks in my jar and attach it at the bottom. I always clean it with alcohol. Um, and this is like gold right now. You can't find this in stores either. Um, <laughs> so I'll typically rub it down with alcohol to clean it at the bottom. But 
Uh, you know what? Maybe I should do that because these are these are a little bit wet still from being in the freezer. Let me see how well it sticks. Let's find out. Eh, sticking just fine. This is just a tester, so it's not it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so these are there. And then I take a um, cotter pen and I use one cotter pen for two of the wicks. So I just push it through and then I pull up on the wick and down on the cotter pen and then I'll move this over to the side and have kind of a good half inch or so of distance, maybe even a little bit more between them and then I try to center them in the middle as much as I possibly can. Like that. Okay, so this is at 170. Turn that off. And then, okay, so for the scent, actually we're gonna take this off. Making too many bubbly sounds. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this around just to make it fun and see which one I'm gonna choose. I'm not looking. Not looking. Okay, the first one we're gonna make is this one. Okay, rose petal gelato. Gonna make that one first. So if you guys watched my um, scent testing video, I was actually pretty impressed with the way that this one smelled. I hate rose, it's probably one of my least favorite scents, but this has a little bit of sweetness to it, and um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to make this one smell really good. There was somebody in my comment section who mentioned that they had blended this with something to try to make it smell even better, so I might try to do that if I don't like the way that this one smells, but I need to get others' opinions too, just because mine doesn't really matter when I don't like florals. So we're gonna get these out of the way. Yeah, there's something about it that's kind of nice, um, but still horrendous at the same time. So this is still pretty set on 170. I gotta wait at least until it's at 160. I've actually been reusing these for a lot more. I used to just use them for one and then toss them, but I've been reusing them for as many as I do in a day. Even if they're different scents, I swear, I'm like the worst with it. I'm like cross-contaminating scents all the time. Okay, and then we're doing 25 grams of fragrance oil, which is almost all of it because there's 28 grams in an ounce. So we're just gonna do all but three grams of this. Gosh, I really want waffles right now. 25.1, that, almost perfect. And then we're gonna pour this in here. Okay. I made the mistake last time of uh, using a paper towel to clean this off and I got a splinter in my finger, so I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> okay, this one smells so much sweeter after I've poured it. It does not smell, it smells like Okay, smells like rose and like a raspberry sherbet ice cream. That's what it smells like. So it definitely has those fruity, fruity scents are definitely coming out of it. But what I've noticed is that after you've poured everything in there and you've mixed it up and when you pour it, when it's really, really, really hot like that, it doesn't smell like how it smells as a hot throw or a cold throw. So um, once that cools down, then we'll really kind of get a gist of what it smells like. And now we're moving on to the next one. And the next one we're doing, okay, so we'll do lavender first, and then we'll do white sage and lavender last because hopefully that won't, oh, speaking of contam contamination, I need to go through with this and clean this out. Yeah, so I don't wanna contaminate the um, white sage and lavender with the lavender. So since there's already lavender in the white sage and lavender, we'll do regular lavender first. <laughs> So how are you guys doing with the quarantine right now? Like, is your state or your country even doing the same thing that the United States is doing? Because it's kind of crazy right now. I think that I'm definitely the kind of person that is used to staying at home. This is all I do, so it's nothing new. And I have not had longer than a, probably a five day break from working. Um, since I was 18. So I'm 26 now and I have not had any kind of vacation or time off. Um, I don't ever take vacations. So this is kind of like 
a much needed vacation for me. I hope that you guys aren't going too crazy with what's going on and, and aren't too worried or like anxious or anything. And I know that it's kind of a weird time right now and we're all, you know, worried about what's going on and what's gonna happen. Um, and trust me, I am full of anxiety most of the time. So I'm just trying to not look back on this time and think, why did I waste it? Why was I anxious the whole time? Um, why didn't I do more um, while I had the time? So that's really what I told myself during all this is that I need to make sure that I am using this time as um, best as I possibly can. And that way I will be able to look back and not think of it as just a negative time and really realize that maybe this is a good break for all of us. So, I don't know. Are you guys working? Are you not working? Um, did you have to get laid off from your job for a certain amount of time? Or, you know, what, what are your thoughts with it? Because um, I am not working, obviously. And since uh, March 18th, I think, and today's the 23rd. So at least until April 3rd, but it's all depending on the California governor, if they're gonna lift the um, order of just staying at home. So I don't know, this is, I hope that you guys are taking advantage of this time too and that you're making candles and looking to, um, you know, expand your craft. And I hope that you guys are taking this time to learn and grow and really, expand because uh, candle making is an indoor activity so we're really really lucky with this and oh I need to put this in here I always forget but yeah I don't know I don't mean to blabber on I'm just kind of in a chatty mood hanging out in my kitchen talking to you guys um, Real quick, if you guys make it to this far in this video, which would be great <laughs> because I know that videos where I just talk and talk and talk, um, I'm, I don't know. I feel like there are probably some people that watch it all the way through, but maybe not always. I feel like sometimes stuff like this, especially when I'm home alone and I don't have like my coworkers to talk to or I, mean, I guess I do, I can call them, but you know, like on a regular daily basis when I'm having conversations with multiple people um, all the time, my coworkers, the guests that come in. Um, it's just kind of like a nice, like I just get to hang out with the camera in front of me, you know? But it's like you guys, I don't know. But yeah, anyways, so if you guys make it to this far in the video, comment down below your favorite scent and um, let me know who's it, who you get it from. So what, where's the supplier and what is the scent called? What is your absolute favorite scent that you get to make? Um, my favorite, um, to be honest, oh my gosh, um, what is my favorite scent that I make? I really love the Malibu Coffee Shop, uh, which is Coffee House by The Flaming Candle. And I gotta say, the Sea Salt and Orchid, I am a huge fan of that one. Um, I know it's a really popular one, a lot of people talk about it, but oh my gosh, I love that one so much. It is seriously one of the best scents I think I have ever smelled before. I'm still trying to come up with a name for it um, because it's sea salt and orchid. Um, orchid is my mom's favorite flower. So I'm trying to incorporate that into the name, um, but I can't think of something that really stands out to me. I love when a name pops into my head and I'll write it in the notes section of my phone so that I will be able to um, incorporate it later into an actual scent name. But for right now, I'm still just trying to figure out a name that really sticks out to me. All right. So now we can get another little cup. I love these little paper cups, by the way, that I use to measure out my fragrance oil. I tried to do plastic cups in the beginning and that was a disaster. These ate right through it. The dog that you guys see in my video, by the way, his name is Brody. He likes to come and bug me when I'm filming. I'm not a huge fan of lavender, but at the same time, I am kind of a fan of lavender. I know I go back and forth a lot, um, but it just, it reminds me a lot of yoga class when I when I used to um, do yoga in a studio. It just reminds me of when I first got started with it. So the yoga instructor that I used to see, she would go around and um, like spritz 
uh, lavender essential oil over everybody. And it just reminded me of that time. Um, I don't know. I like it. It's it's a calming scent. I get a lot why people like it. I really, really do. I just realized I forgot to put... I always do that. Do you guys ever do that? I forgot to attach my wicks to the bottom. To be honest, I think that I need to get Eco Ones to see how those perform because in the Lush Linen scent that I got from Candle Science, it burning way too fast. So I need to test and see if it's the scent itself or if I just need to wick down to two Eco Ones and see if that one would be better for my jars to burn slower because I don't want my, my candles to burn super fast. And the way that they're burning, my smaller candle jars that are only seven ounces burn slower than these 9.5 ounce jars and um, yeah, that's not good. I want these to last longer because that's what you're paying for. Okay, on to the last one. There's a part of me that really wants to like the white sage and lavender more just because it's more fun. It's not as boring as just lavender, but I know that a lot of people do like just lavender, so I, I have a feeling I might just go with that one, but it really just depends on how they burn and what smells better when it's burning. So I'm not gonna mess this up this time with these ones. I'm actually gonna wick these first before they're done and get these all set up. I gotta say, these wick stickers have been my favorite thing that I've used. When I first tried them, they were really crappy and they kept pulling up, but ever since I started cleaning the bottom with alcohol, they've really stayed put and I like them super easy. I tried the red RTV glue, which I know I've showed in previous videos, my earlier videos that I was that I was posting, and um, I just didn't like how messy they were. It started to like um, get all hard at the end of the red glue, and it was really hard to work with. But I love these cotter pens so much more than anything else I've tried. Before I got these, I was using painter's tape to try to hold this down, and that was just because um, Clothespins weren't doing anything, especially since the jar. So the clothespins pretty much are the same length as the diameter of the jar. So that wasn't working at all. All right, this one's all done. Last and final one. All right, last and final pour. All right, so I just finished making my candles and I'm thinking that I'll probably wanna pick either the rose petal gelato or the regular lavender. The white sage and lavender, I just, man, I can't get behind that one. I don't know, I feel like there's probably a lot of people that like it, but dang, I'm gonna have to get opinions from other people. Because trying to get on board with florals, it's really hard. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of this laid back, just watch me make candles and listen to me talk kind of video. Um, let me know in the comment section below um, if you guys like this style of video because yeah, I don't know. It's kind of nice to throw in something that's a little bit different. Um, I'm still trying to figure out um, different style videos that I want to make, different topics. Um, again, I write that stuff down in my notes all the time. So if there's anything that you guys are interested in um, hearing me talk about or watching me do or anything that you're interested in, I'll leave them in the comment section below. But yeah, so that's the end of the video and I'm going to go make some waffles or maybe like a normal dinner. I don't know. I kind of just want some waffles right now. Um, but if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on instagram at memory box candle co and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys